everyone. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry, a little under the weather today. Um, the weather isn't that great, so the weather might be under me because it's, oh, let's take a look. Can you see? It's very dreary out in Chicago today. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be showing you how to do this look, which is my uh, spin on an Effie Stonem from Skins uh, makeup look. Uh, I think for my last video, which is, this is gonna be my last video for a while, probably at least until January, February, hopefully I'll get into making videos again soon, because uh, I really enjoyed them when they were good. Um, but I decided Skins is probably one of my favorite TV shows of all times. I watched it uh, all the time when I was in high school. Um, I just watched the like seventh season, which made me so depressed. It was the most depressing thing I've ever watched, but I still loved it anyways. Um, and Effie Stoneham is one of the most iconic characters from that series, especially because she was in two of the casts and um, not, I don't think anybody else was, besides like cameos and stuff like that, or um, I know there was like Naomi and Emily walking in the background of one of the scenes, but I digress, I just shut me up. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this look. It's, I'd like it for a night going out, I think I do that for a lot of my um, makeup videos, wear this going out, wear this to parties, just because I do kind of a minimal makeup look for myself most of the time. Um, I do really like this. I think it um, makes my eyes pop a lot, and I hope you guys like it too. So, yeah, let's get started. I already went ahead and did my foundation because I feel like I don't need to bore you again with uh, all that information. I feel like I've done that in a couple videos now, so if you really want to know what I do for that, you can go back and watch another one. Um, I use Makeup Forever HD Foundation in... 110, super pale, um, and then I put on a Capricorn by Estee Lauder powder over top of that, just, it's just really translucent, and then a uh, Hula by Benefit to blend it all together and make my complexion look a little less like drowned out, because <laughs> like I said, I'm very pale. Um, I didn't put any concealer on, because uh, I don't really have any big blemishes today, thankfully. It's always a good thing to wake up to, but I probably could have used it under my eyes, um, but I didn't because it's 9 a.m. and I don't feel like doing it right now. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to contour my face for this. Um, Kaya, who plays Effie, has really awesome bone structure. Um, that I wish I had, but I don't, so I'm gonna kinda just contour a little bit. I'm not gonna try to make my face look exactly like her face. I'm just gonna bring out some of my features um, and make them pop a little bit. Then I'm going to take the bronzer and just sweep it over this part of my face. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter here because um, that's just, she always just has like a brighter face here and like a darker face around the edge, so that's what I'm going to do for contouring. I don't know if the light's hitting right, but um, I just put um, bronzer and highlighter and contoured a little bit. Um, I tried to use, I hate using uh, anything but my fingers to blend in my highlighter. I tried to use a little spongy thing to set a good example, but I couldn't. So I just forgoed, for, forgoed, is that a word? I just totally threw caution to the wind and used my fingers like a rebel. So I got that all done. So now um, she has some pretty bushy eyebrows um, in a good way. I like them. So I'm going to fill in my um, brows with my Chanel eye pencil in 30. Oh, and uh, the highlighter, I, if you didn't see it before, I use uh, Watts Up from Benefit. It's my favorite. <laughs>
Okay, so very simple with the brows, nothing crazy, just a little fuller than usual. Um, and now we get to start on the eyes, which is the part you need to focus the most on if you really want to do this look properly. I'm going to start by dusting, ooh. I'm going to start by dusting Strange in my Naked 3 palette, which is the lightest one, over my entire lid. Once I get my... to be putting this color. Let me pop it out for you real quick so I know what it's called. Ooh, come here. It is <clears throat> number 2114 Ivory. This is my um, e.l.f. Make Your Own palette. Um, my, I had like a little turquoise blue but it went rogue. I have no idea where it went. Um, so I just have these ones but they're all really nice colors and um, <clears throat> I love e.l.f. products, so I recommend it. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, gel eyeliner and I'm going to line the top of my eyelid, um, this bottom corner area, and then like a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit up into like where I kind of highlighted before. Um, so it kind of swoops up and points to my crease, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but hopefully it will once I do it. And I'm going to be using my Their Real Push-Up Liner, which is my lifesaver, basically. Okay, so it looks really odd right now, um, but that's because I'm about to blend everything in up through my crease, um, and I'm not going to like try to get the gel liner all the way there, I don't want it to be that thick, so I'm going to be using my um, Glam Eyes by HD by Rimmel London, um, it is in 001 Black um, looks like that. I'm going to be using the black color in this little thing. Um, this is definitely like my go-to for like when I want to go out um, to a club or something and I want like really dramatic eyes. I definitely always go to this um, just because I like the combination of the grays and the black and the silver. It gives a really good smoky eye. So it should look like this. I went in and I was like, oh, this isn't dark enough. So I put, um, I took my eyeliner and put it in there. 
here, which was a bad idea. Do not do that. I spent the next couple minutes um, trying to fix my little experiment. I don't know why I did that. I didn't do it when I tried this yesterday, but I thought, what the heck? Let me just make this even longer than it has to be. So don't do that. Um, and then I just put a little bit more of the, um, the little elf eyeshadow like on my lids. So it got a little pop of color again. Um, now for more eyeliner, I'm going to be using, hold on a second. I'm going to be using um, my Star Looks eyeliner in Amethyst. I'm going to be using it on my whole uh, waterline down there and then um, from like just lining the area once the black ends, just lining it under there for a pop of color. Um, and the look I'm going off of, she uses like a like a blue metallic one, um, which I mean I haven't tried it, but I tried it with this too, and I liked it a lot better with this um, because I'm not trying to copy her look exactly. That's all you really need to do for eyeliner and eyeshadow. Now I'm going to do lashes. I was thinking about fake lashes, but um, I think that it kind of took away from like the eyeshadow in this look. It kind of just made my whole eyelid eyelashes. So I'm just going to double up on mascara. I'm going to be using the Volume de Chanel and um, e.l.f. Volume Pumping Mascara on my uh, eyelashes. going to be using my NARS Orgasm. And she, it doesn't appear like she has anything on her lips and I never really saw Effie wearing a whole lot of lipstick. I might be wrong, I might be making that up for my benefit, who knows. Um, but I'm just going to be putting, um, geez, um, my NARS Sandpiper uh, lip gloss on my lips just for a little, because I can't just have bare lips. And that's it. This is my Effie inspired look um, from the infamous scene where she bludgeons, what's her name? Katie with a rock in the forest because she's on shrooms. So if you're going to bludgeon somebody in the forest with a rock because you're on shrooms, this is the look for you. <laughs> um, thanks for watching and thanks for anybody who's watched any of my other videos. Um, this has been really fun making them. I had a little trouble in the middle um, with my health, uh, just not feeling very well, but um, I powered through, so um, this is, I don't know, my final video for now. I'm gonna get doctors and stuff out of the way, and um, hopefully I'll be able to post something again soon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching all of my videos. I really appreciated it. Um, bye. <laughs>